word. Extra, extra, read all about it. And CJ has entered the podcast. Hello, oh. Siege. Hey, CJ. Hello. Did your team win? Hi, Emma. How are you? Good, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen CJ enter so civilized before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's really. I'm always civilized. Yeah, he's like, hello, how are you? I just got to, sh- I got to Hi, cut the BTS <laughs> just previous to this introduction, oh, just okay. to show how uncivilized he is. <laughs> <laughs> this is your future president or prime minister. Yeah, you're right. He <laughs> <laughs> went from running his mouth to like, oh, hello. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I, Next I, went for, I, I went from that voice to work voice <laughs> so guys this is voice. perhaps one of the most um exciting times for us because guess what happened what happened someone i know reached out with a actual article that's crazy yeah. so i someone i my friend from work reached out and said hey i've got an idea i've got Does something wanna, for you so, to talk about her name her it? name is Hazel. Mm. Hi, Hazel. Hello, Hazel. Um, Hi, Hazel. Work. She has reached out and said, hey, guys, I've got an interesting thing for you to perhaps talk about on your podcast. Mm. So I was like, yeah, what happened? So she sent me a couple voice recordings and then she followed it up with like more info. But Dev, I've mm. sent you the voice recordings. I'm going to play, play the first one. Yeah, play the first one. And then there's two small. They're not very long. Just for curiosity, do you want me to start the clock now or after the recordings? After. Okay, just just go for it. Is this is this first hand journalism? Like, are, are we? Are, are you getting the information straight from the source of a news story? This is her source. This is her news. Something that happened. So she is the source. <laughs> she is the so source. You, so you're you're the journalist now, bringing this to the table, yes. bringing this to the world. Oh, oh my god! <gasps> oh my god! We just leveled up, guys. Guys, also, <laughs> if you have any articles that you want to bring, share them with us. Send us a message. Send us a comment. Anything. Hi, lovely. Share it with us. Um. So I got pulled over by a police officer for speeding and. He, when I asked to see, I didn't believe the speed that I, he claims I was traveling. So when I asked him if I could read the radar, he said it was based on his estimation. She sends another one. Hi. Actually, he said, my eyes, my eyes are the radar. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so she could not... Okay, so she sent me a little bit more. So this is what happened, right? This this past week, this <laughs> happened. So in the morning, 8 a.m., she was travelling to work. Or she was travelling somewhere, it wasn't to work. And she's on a wide road, no road markings, industrial area. Um, so on a hill above a, a residential area. She approaches a bridge. She sees a guy on a bicycle who appeared to be struggling to get himself over the bridge. Because he wasn't riding in a straight line. <laughs> anyway, so she... It was, it was me. <laughs> so then she slowed to overtake him. And then once... And then so she's going past him, increases her speed to go past him, um, gets a big enough gap because she cyclists worry her, especially inexperienced ones. And then she starts slowing down because she was also approaching a roundabout. Okay. So a highway patrol vehicle was parked in one of the factory driveways and saw her. So the, she realized this officer was then like behind her with his lights flashing. So she pulls over, um, gets a license, etc., and can waited pa- for Can him. you pause there? Yeah. You know what sucks? What? Is that when you pull over and then you see that bike go past you <laughs> and you go, fuck. <laughs> 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 Just pisses you off. I wasn't right. even running that fast on that car stuff. Why, I gotta. <laughs> um, <laughs> so then... Um, so okay so she said to him no he said to her she asked he asked her if she had any idea of the speed she was traveling yeah and she said no because she didn't really and then she said i was more focused on the cyclist and the speedometer however i didn't even bother explaining this to him because whatever if i was speeding i was speeding um he then said did he did she have any idea what the speed limit was 
To which she said, I don't know, 60? Um, and the officer goes, no, it's 50. And I estimate you were doing about 70. So she was confused because <laughs> the very next day she travelled the same road and it wasn't 70. The, so- the sign says 60. So yeah. he got that wrong for starters. And there's no <laughs> other street indicating, uh, no other street signs saying to the contrary. So she had a breath test. She passed it, blah, blah, blah. So at this point, she said he walked off to check her license or whatever and he came back to the car and a conversation followed, which was, officer, you will receive a penalty notice in the mail, Hazel. And how much is that, officer? You'll find out in the mail, Hazel. So how fast was I going, officer? I estimate you were at least 70. Hazel, well, I don't believe I was traveling that fast, so I'd like to see the radar reading, officer. I am the radar. My (laughs) eyes are the radar. (laughs) Officer then points to his eyes. (laughs) (laughs) Hazel, in disbelief, so you didn't actually record my speed. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. Officer, you know you were speeding because you slowed down. She was, but she she put in asterisks. Well, it escaped his attention that he he had pulled her over as she was approaching a roundabout. So of course she was going to be slowing down. Um, Hazel still rambling. How is that even allowed, officer? I have certificates. <laughs> Hazel, well, I'll be disputing this. So I guess I'll see you in court, officer. Yes, and I'll bring my certificates. Right? What what certificates? Radar, I don't know. Ra- I don't know. Radar eyes. I don't know. His eyes are calibrized, cal- cal- calibrated. <laughs> so she was just, that was basically what happened. Yeah. And she was just like, what the hell? Like, yeah, is yeah, this yeah. allowed to happen? Mm. So I looked into this. Mm. I would have gotten so much more trouble for that. <laughs> I looked into this. And Your fucking eyes. According to <laughs> you. <laughs> according to... New South Wales no, Police. Fucking lie to you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you walk up to girls and go, it's five centimeters, but your eyes overestimate and you're saying re- you 20. You're overselling it, you fucking dickhead. <laughs> CJ didn't even get the ticket we, and he's upset. We need CJ as her lawyer. <laughs> so, um, <coughs> according to New South Wales, but also Queensland is the same. Yeah. And I don't know about other places. Apparently, police speeding fines based on estimates are completely legal. And although they're not always reliable, they can they can be a lot easier to challenge. However, they, according to police commissioner Ian Stewart, police don't just come up with a random number. They follow cars that they suspect are speeding and then they check their pace according to... But he the, was standing still. ...the speedometers. Um, yeah. And apparently they do this all in their training. They're experts at it. Mm, um, they and get certificates. And apparently <laughs> estimation has been at the heart of police Calibration. For the last hundred years, right? Hundred years? Yes. Well, what's, what's happened in the last hundred years? Estimation's been at the heart of policing for the last hundred years, supposedly. Hundred years? Yes. I mean, when did... Were cars even a big thing a hundred years ago? No, nah, but you could be walking too fast. <laughs> <laughs> But this also happened, to, I found another case where it was a truck driver and he was recording the officer at the time, but it was the exact same thing where the officer basically said, well, it's your word versus mine in court then because the officer said um, that he estimated as well. And apparently he got demerit points in the end and had to pay a fine. Really? Yes. <gasps> yes. Estimation. So basically they're trained to visually what? estimate the speed of cars. The field training usually consists of a trainee or trainees going out with an instructor and a radar unit, visually estimating the speed of vehicles. Um, The size, color, and distance from a vehicle affect the perceived speed of the vehicle upon visual estimation, right? Mm. Which is why it can't always be relied upon. It should never be relied upon. It comes into like their training or something like that. But Especially in today's environment, where every car is has a look, radar. Gun. Yeah, but I understand. Like, if you're going, if the uh, police car is going sixty behind you, and you're slowly accelerating away, then they he can, can see say on the speedometer, you, you're you're going too fast. I get that. But if you're standing still, and you go, <laughs> you go past, you go, ooh, that's seventy. Yeah. So apparently, they <laughs> estimate first, and then they'll check their radar as the backup. So the radar is the 
the backup, right? So how are they going to do both of those if they're standing still? I don't know. Well, went, that was Serenity. Let me quickly get my gun out and double check. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. They've gone. So <laughs> apparently. The radar's for the eyes. So see how quick the eyes went. Yeah. Oh, oh, so they, they do it and they'll be like, okay, I did roughly this speed with my eyes. Let me just get my radar gun, <laughs> point it towards my eyes and do the same thing again. Well, my eyes moved at 70. That must be a 70. <laughs> So I dropped in the um, article, an example, it's a cross, it's an example of a cross examination. Mm. So a lawyer in court, right? Mm. Um, trying to defend the person that was caught for speeding. The title so is Goodbye. So they've got, are expensive as well. Yes. So they've got, you need to, this is, they've said, you need to concentrate on rate times time equals distance. So if you t- if you <laughs> the time <laughs> rate times and time equals distance, distance variables, then you can tell precisely the rate of speed of an object. So this person used this lawyer used that against the police officer in court. So this is how it went. So apparently, initially, police Could officers. Could you do the voices as well? Oh, I'll try. Police officers will usually testify <laughs> Hello, that they observed from the defendant, <laughs> right? I should have got you reading part of it with me. Hello. <laughs> I'm Dr. Rivera. <laughs> I wouldn't trust I am the new lawyer. <laughs> and I would like to point out rate, time, and distance. <laughs> help, me, help estimate the time and speed he was traveling. <laughs> hey, where are you from? I, I love it. Usually, CJ has the same accent, but this one was different. It was different. I am from <laughs> lawyer land. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all, all my accents sound Indian except for Loyland. That sounded like a cartoon character, though. I don't know which is. A... You had a slightly like Nordic accent, I feel like, in there. Oh, Nordic. A little bit Swedish. Oh, oh, yeah, I heard that. All right, come on. So, let's... police officers. Will I am usually... the lawyer from Sweden <laughs> by the sounds of it. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, right. Police officers will usually testify going, right? that they observed the defendant for a few seconds, mm. right? You need to pin them down on a time. So, lawyer, <laughs> how long of a time did you observe my client to make your visual estimate? Yeah. Police officer, a mm, few seconds. So, you don't really know. <laughs> well, it was two to three seconds. Not really. Well, if two to three seconds, then it could have been... Three, maybe four seconds. Mm. Well, well, not really, lawyer. You just testified that it was a few seconds. So if it was at least three seconds, it could have been longer than three seconds, right? Stop conversation. The overarching goal is to elicit testimony that tends to lengthen the time that the officer took in observing the vehicle to make his estimate estimation because the longer the visual estimation took, the slower the vehicle was traveling. Right. right? It's all about these exact words that come out. Next, you then have to elicit testimony regarding the distance that the vehicle traveled during the time period. Is this an example of how to get off your ticket? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is an example of a lawyer that that Hazel needs, right? Yeah. Um, So you next have to get testimony regarding (laughs) the distance. Which between the vehicle travel during the time the period that they made his office the visualization, yeah, yeah. so the more experienced officer will know where you're trying to go with this. Mm. So you have to use a backdoor technique. So when you first begin the cross examination, go over some basic facts that were already elicited on direct um, initially, like date and time and location, um, so that you've got that information up front. Mm. Um, and then you need to establish how far the vehicle was from the officer when he completed his visual estimation. Don't go into that right after establishing how far he was again, because he'll catch on to what you're doing. You've yeah. got to have some buffer questions in there as well, right. such as weather, <laughs> road conditions. Where'd you get blah, your blah, blah. Hair your conditioner from? Donuts. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> a conversation could Do go you like such... sprinkles or <laughs> jam donuts? <laughs> such as when you first observed my client, how far was he from you? I'd say about 400 feet. <laughs> about 400 feet. So it could have been closer to you. I guess feet. so. Could it have been 350 feet? On distance when visual estimation was completed, when you completed your visual estimation, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> when you completed your visual estimation, how far away from you, from you was my client? About 200 feet. So it could have been less than 200 feet. It could have been more and it could have been less, I suppose. (laughs) 
So it could have been 175 feet away from you. So again, with the shorter the distance of estimation, the slower the vehicle is traveling. So these things. Mm, these factors. Yes. So they all oh, contribute. once you do that, you can then calculate your rate and then divide it by the distance, right, by right. the time, blah, yeah. blah, 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 and get off scot free. Right. I feel like that's such a convoluted way. Yeah. How much is the <laughs> to speed do this? <laughs> How much is the speed to Yeah, but it's demerit points as well. Yeah, you're right. Do you know what I'd do though? Okay. I would, I'd so I'd just like, about maybe 250, 300. Right, I'd stand well, lawyers there. Lawyers would be about five hundred. You get your money back for the lawyer, right? If you win. If you win, yeah. yeah. You still got to pay it because not a lot of people you... will actually dispute it. But <laughs> if they haven't, number one, he got the the speed limit on the road wrong. Yeah. He said it was because she was slowing down as well. She was yeah. approaching the roundabout. So if she disputes it, and he's like, "My eyes," <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Like, and also the like fact she that she was accelerating past the past cyclist the mm, means that safety. formula you just used is completely irrelevant. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Uh, uh, unless it was that fast cyclist on the steroids, the most likely he's <laughs> under the speed limit. Did you say like unless it was a fast cyclist the whole thing, on steroids? Unless she accelerated from... So, yeah, you know that cyclist with the no testicles that was on steroids? Yeah, I'm strong. Oh. Yeah, I'm... That's it. I figured out how you do. It. If you want to get out of this, yeah, get one of those. Tell tell the officer, all right, show up to court with your speed gun, and then you get a tennis ball, stand on one side of the room, get someone standing on the other side, launch it, and go. How fast was that going? And if they don't get it exactly right, you're out. You're scot free. Their estimation's clearly wrong. Ooh, uh, but okay, they could but you, say you got, you, you got one major. You got one major issue with that. The first thing is they're not going to let you take a tennis ball into the fucking court. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? It should be more like a talent show. All right, everyone come out onto the street. Okay. I've got this properly prepared They don't let you We've take your mobile phone cars. into the courtroom. <laughs> you think they're going to let you take a tennis ball? Well, I'll throw a book across the room then. Yeah. Yeah. Because... <laughs> okay, you but... might be able to get a book in. <laughs> I just want to know, I just, like, I'm very interested. CJ knows a lot about the court <laughs> protocols needed. <laughs> <laughs> He's very uh, up to date with the knowledge there. Siege. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone quiet. <laughs>
the way the way you think about it, he wasn't standing. He was also moving. Yeah, but he wasn't yeah, but going. Same 70. principle. Exactly. He wasn't going. He wasn't going seventy. Exactly. Was was Hazel? Did Hazel stay at the same speed as the cyclist for any point? If not, then it's irrelevant what the speed the cyclist was going at. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I think no. The relevance oh, of the okay. I think the relevance <laughs> of the speed of the cyclist is more to do with the fact the idea of if she sped up to go around the cyclist, then it would mm. be unnecessary to speed up to 70, 70 miles per hour to go around the cyclist. Like, why would she have to go that That's fast the, unless yeah. the cyclist well, was no, like... like if, so if, for example, she doesn't know what's coming the other way... Unless she's arm strong, she doesn't need to hit 70. Yeah, if there's a she's corner, like 100 gates. meters in the distance or something, <laughs> then the faster she gets past it, the faster she can prepare for the corner. So like, uh, she yeah. might have a weird true? like reason to think, I want to speed up to get past it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. in her case, it was because the cyclist had jelly legs and was. <laughs> yeah, so the cyclist has jelly legs. Of course, everyone knows you. You hit about seventy to make sure you get out of the way. <laughs> Standard protocol. <laughs> they teach that in like yeah. one hundred one. Uh, Navy no, I was, Seals. I thought it was, was that not the first question I in your driving safe. test? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> the theory. The reason why he was she, he was wobbling because he was on the death wobbles. That's why he was going that fast. He was like, "Oh, I'm going too fast. I don't know what to do." But I just want to go around the room. Who knew? I'm going to break the sound barrier. Who knew that t uh, police officers estimate with their eyes if they don't have a radar or the? I always thought I always thought button. it was their fingertips. Not their eyes. <laughs> I, I thought, thought they stroked you as you went past and went, "Whoa, that I was a fast was one." Yeah, I thought it was like when the. Uh, I thought they have the finger like this. And then this point, as it goes past, so, that was pretty fast. I'm just that's thinking, what that's what just that's, said. <laughs> is it? So that's, or, or I thought they like they made a they made a clicking noise and they use like sonic uh, <laughs> techniques to the, the speed that they come back comes to their back. ears as it bounces off the car. They do two, and they're like, oh, I got it. That was uh, uh, only the blind police officers do that. Just, <laughs> but yeah, so I, that's, that's just crazy. So this All is right. in Australia, isn't it? The estimation yes. thing. Yeah. yeah. I say to give you two. It's pretty around the world. Say, well, the, yeah. on, the only two other systems I know of speeding are America and the UK. And in the UK, you have to be. Um, what is it? In the UK, it has to be caught by camera. Right. I, I, I think but I don't. I don't know if you know. Can can a policeman catch you and give you a speeding ticket? I, like I don't think I've ever heard of oh, that here. This is a moment I could call an expert. Yeah, Melody. Call a friend. No, my brother, he's a police officer <laughs> in the UK. <laughs> Melody's a lawyer in Norway. And she's studying. <laughs> I like how you're like, no. <laughs> um, I was going to say that the, the US one, because this one's sort of in between a little bit, but it's, you have to be physically caught for speeding. So they can't, if you're going too fast, they can't catch you. Yeah, so like it, what they do, for example, so they can't, you can't use a camera to catch someone. So if they catch you like speeding on the gun, they have to then get in their car, chase you and, and catch you to give you the ticket. But like, oh. um, I've heard of an instance where it, there's multiple cars and what they'll do is when one car zooms past, then other cars will start tailing it because they go, well, shit, if he's come from behind me going that fast, obviously there's no cops behind him, so I can go that fast. So they'll, mm. tra they'll train them, and then if they pass a, like a hiding police officer, they'll come out and they'll follow the train and they'll pull the people over one by one. So they'll pull the person over at the back and then keep going, pull over the next person, keep going, and they do that until they've pulled everyone over, and then they work their way backwards from the front giving tickets. So wow. if you were at the back of the train and you got pulled over first, so like people have reported waiting for hours for the police to get back to them by the what? time they caught everyone else. Because you can't, once you've been pulled over, you can't leave. <gasps> you can't unpull over. <laughs> you can't un yeah. You can pull out. Okay. <laughs> but did she say that? game's good. <laughs> How bizarre. Uh, that's, that's interesting. Crazy. But I, I think I've heard in the UK, like if you're speeding and you're not on a gun, they can get you for reckless driving, which is an estimate of like, like the police officer. Oh, officer. right. It's a different charge. Hmm. But By the sounds I of it, the police officer is a wanker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, I need Emma, uh, Hazel. When when Hazel gets her update, let us know what happens. Yes. So I'm intrigued well, by this. Through. Hazel, Bring thank in, you so, so much for bringing thank this Thank you to very, us. very much, Hazel. And anyone Tell else to look into SUVAT to? equations. In the what? <laughs> SUVAT equations. Alex knows what they are. 
Okay. Check what, the what you described then was one of about, I think there's five SUVA equations, which is all to do with distance times speed times time times acceleration and stuff. Okay, and stuff. then get a stuff. lawyer that can say that stuff in court. And if you need an expert, off. FaceTime our people in Norway or in the UK. Yes. And we'll tell you how it works in America. <laughs> <laughs> or in Norway. And we'll do it in a Swedish accent. <laughs> And anyone else that wants Hello. to submit any interesting articles, let me tell you about the trains. Yeah. Then send us a message or comment. Hazel, if you need a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs>